Hey, what's up everyone? This is going to be a video regarding various events happening in the world around us. I haven't made one of these in a while, so let's get started. This is a view from the La Palma volcano, which has been erupting for several months now. And if you notice, I see several faces in this. This is one of them, right here. And the other one you can see, right here. Let me know if you can see the faces in this volcanic eruption. Regardless, 3,000 people in, in three coastal towns have been locked down due to the lava flow and new lava crashed into the ocean forming a new delta. And for your Thanksgiving week, a parade of extreme weather will be taking place from record snowfalls to record storms and rain. Speaking of parades, there was a tragedy that took place yesterday. Someone just plowed through a parade, killed and injured elderly people and children. Just a horrendous event, so much love to everyone in that tragedy. Just ridiculous. But this parade of storms will drench the Pacific Northwest and barrage of snowstorms and heavy rain, storms taking place, and lake effect snow hammering the north and northeast, and the coldest air of the season pummeling many parts of the U.S. And just a couple of days ago, the La Palma volcano has been upgraded to a VEI-3 category, and the eruption continues. This VVI-3 event and the first VVI earthquake has taken place, and flights have been grounded. And in spite of all of this and the flights being canceled, the MSM, or mainstream media, still continues to, de you know, to decrease the threat of the level level of threat msm argues that the intensity is decreasing people reported this as being terrifying the moon was distorted during an eclipse over the ocean here it was reported that the moon got distorted in apocalyptic shapes before descending into the ocean now, I'll let you read this, but as far as the name, but, well, I'll go ahead and read it, but is this outright dangerous after the jab? Mr. Um, Gates, his new project is under a nuclear power plant in Camara, Wyoming, using highly dangerous fast reactors. But what could go wrong? After all, they say it is from Bill, am I right? And a major boost in this right here, the fifth generation cell signal. All cities and all land are to be covered in signal. This fifth generation signal in the country whose name you see here. The major boost, all, all cities, towns, and villages are to be covered in 2025. So know that Big Brother's watching you using this tech. So anyway, speaking of covering the signal everywhere, I want to tell you, I want to go ahead and talk about something that happened to me several weeks ago. You know how Google Maps logs everywhere you go, and they show you at the end of the month your, where you've traveled, how long you were there, and, you know, they show you every day how, which, by the way, it has not been logging for the past three weeks, which is very odd. Most of the time, most of the days don't even get logged now, so I don't know what's going on there, but Google Maps usually logs the duration you were at a place and how many places you visited and how many miles you drove. Well, I left my phone at home about three weeks ago. I left it at home, and I just said, oh, well, let's just go on anyway. So we didn't have time to go back for it, for one thing. And it still logged everywhere I went. Now, where my father works, they have Wi-Fi, but it, they don't let you log in or use it because it's the business Wi-Fi. Well, there's no Wi-Fi within range that allows you to do so. But yet it logged we were there. And it logged every place of business that we stopped and we got back home. Google still logged on Google Maps. It hadn't been logging where I've been, but it logged that day. It logged every location I was at and how many miles we drove down the road to a T. Except it did have a few variations here and there where it went off. It showed the wrong areas, but it didn't show exact treks on the road, you know. 
where we they didn't track exactly how we went on the road. But that's still creepy that it was able to log where I was at when I didn't even have my phone on me. So how did they track me without the phone? Some would argue maybe the tablet, but the tablet was not able to log into all of the Wi-Fi sources, and some of the time my tablet was not even connected. So to any, it wasn't even connected to anything because I didn't have my phone to use as a hotspot. So how would it have logged where I was at? And lately my phone has not even been logging anything, and Google Maps has not been tracking me, which is really weird, but here you see that they want all places covered for tracking for 2025 by 5G. How are farmers around this world battling the worst case scenarios taking place? Read this article to find out. And they had over 320 earthquakes in 24 hours and a 5.1 earthquake at the La Palma volcano earlier this week. These things seem so planned, but more disruption in the supply chain. You'll see right here. This is disastrous because mountains of grain were stranded in Canada. I think it was in British Columbia. I apologize, it was in Vancouver. It was in Vancouver where unprecedented storms took place and once again disrupted, disrupted the food supply chain by knocking over this train. And it's just, it's another event to add to the list. Especially during peak shipping season at Canada's largest port. And did you feel that earthquake? There were a couple of earthquakes in Missouri. And it could be felt over 208 miles away past Nashville, Tennessee. It could be felt for miles and miles. So if you felt it, let me know. People in Missouri said that they had pictures knocked off the wall and they felt major shaking. Especially for that area. Usually they're not that large of quakes. New Madrid seismic zone ramping up from Arkansas, Tennessee, and Missouri. I'll leave you with one more image from La Palma. So thank you for watching this video. I will bring updates on worldwide events as soon as possible. Peace signing out. Links below. Subscribe, like, and share. I love you all.